Hey everybody, uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. Uh, thank you guys for all the messages asking me uh, how I've been and where I've been and if I'm putting up any more content on my channel. Of course, I, I, I always do try to put content up on my video, uh, video channel, but um, I've been a little bit busy. And uh, with that being said, uh, I've been getting a lot of messages asking me for some updates on products that I own. And I thought this time it'd be a good, uh, a good time to do a update on this Hermes uh, black enamel belt that I've owned for seven years. A lot of people like to comment on my channel about my luxury products, especially belts and watches. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. As you guys know, I've had this belt for seven years. Uh, it is the black enamel H belt. This one is a 38 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. And let's get a closer look on this. You see the black enamel. And here's the back of it, of course. Now, update on the on how this uh, buckle has held up. Held up pretty well, but I do have quite a bit of scuffs and dings on it, which you could probably buff it off, polish it up and all that, but would it be worth it? No. I know I had a couple uh, viewers ask me, can you buff the, the belt buckle? Yes, you can, but you'll probably take off the coating. Um, not only that, for this particular one, because it's black enamel, if you buff this, you'll probably, more than likely, you're gonna damage that black enamel. But let's get a closer look. As you can see, a lot of scuffs on the enamel, but from a distance, no, you cannot really tell any of the, the, uh, the damages. Now let's get on with the actual leather. The quality of the leather, I've always stated it, is the best of all the products I've owned, all the uh, leather, leather belts that I've owned. The one thing that, does bother me a little is right there, the indent on the leather edges. So when the belt slides into place, this bar right here is what causes that indent. And as you sit and wear this belt and it moves, it depresses into that leather just like so. Other than that, the, the belt buckle area stayed very well. Leather is still very soft. I don't see any stitching falling apart, whereas on a lot of the Louis Vuitton belts, the stitching will start to, to break off uh, because the canvas is so thick. But this is all leather. Now let's get down to looking at the other end of the of the belt. This is where your belt hole goes and as you can see there is a little bit of warping. The back side. I hardly ever wear it on the back side for the uh, the dark brown but as you can see there's barely any wear or tear on the stitching. And again, here's the belt loops. You can see that it is warped. Overall, the leather has uh, held up. Now, I don't do any of the leather conditionings. I like to have leather naturally, um, uh, naturally condition itself just by your oils. But overall, uh, these are very expensive belts. Um, now, is it worth buying these expensive belts? It really depends on you as the person. Uh, do you care about these products? A belt is a belt. But if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a belt, I think these were close to somewhere around 900, 1,000. Um, if you were to spend that much on a belt, I wanna make sure that I get my money's worth. And this product has held up for eight years, seven, eight years. I am very happy with it. I still wear it all the time. Um, 
So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I will continue to put up more videos on um, on updates of products that I own and kind of sharing my uh, my opinions on them as I've owned them for so many years. Thank you guys. Uh, stay healthy during COVID. Please subscribe, like the video, share my uh, channel with other people.